Hey everybody, hey, it's Rob from Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. Happy Thanksgiving, episode number three, because the first one I accidentally dropped the video, um, got cut off. Um, but on the second one, we opened two of these Allen & Ginter 2020 value packs, because we want those extra five minis that they come with, the gold. And um, in the second pack... Um, we opened two of these, and on the second one, we pulled uh, this hit. So, that's super sweet. Look at this. We got, well, first and foremost, for Bill and all them guys, we got the Cook, Kelsey Cook card, and I'm sure they would like that. And then, look at this hit that we got, people. Wow. Uh, uh oh. Uh, no, what do we got? Hang on, people. I was just about to show you this hair cart. <clears throat> Hello, Rob, is that you? <laughs> hey, is that Yoda? <clears throat> yes, from the other side of the for forest I am. <clears throat> oh, look at this card. Hey, Yoda, let me ask you, did you ever get a hold of it? Uh, let's not talk about Anakin or Sidious right now. <clears throat> Thanksgiving happy to you day. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, we talk about Anakin, young Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Sometime in the future. Mm -hmm. Oh, but since being in this galaxy and the netherworlds of the Force, mm -hmm. <laughs> learned about baseball I have. Oh, and I know that this guy is impressive this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Looks like you got yourself a Ronald Acuna Jr. <laughs> Mini frame relic card you have, yes? Mm, piece of the bat? <laughs> mm, Yoda likes. If I was alive, I would buy that from you. Mm. Hey, so uh, what's going on, Yoda? What you got going on? Mm. Just taking it easy. <laughs> Noticing your views, <laughs> the number of views on your videos, <laughs> not good, not good. <laughs> but keep trying, use the force, maybe you can compel people to watch. <laughs> All your goofiness and long-winded talks, not good. Do, don't talk. <laughs> Got two ears, one mouth. <laughs> okay, well, what are you going to do now? <laughs> I was going to open some more uh, Allen and Ginter 2023 blaster that I got from Walmart. Um, another Allen and Ginter. Mm, getting old it is. Mm, 2023. Ah, it just came out like a month ago. Yes, but all your videos. Mm, I'm going to go. Mm, bye. Yoda, remember you're a ghost. You can just disappear. Oh, yeah. Uh... Hey, Felicia. Hey, dag, dag, nab it. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, everybody, anyways, there he heard it. Yoda himself told you. We pulled us, um, actually out of the first pack of that first value pack and set it aside to the end. Got a 2020 Ronald Acuna Jr. mini framed relic back card. So that's super sweet. Uh, that's a big one. Got his autograph out of Signature Series, I think, last year. Um, so now I got a relic of his. I might have another one. Um, maybe not from Alan Ginter. I'm not too sure. Panini or something. Who knows? Um, we'll get around to other hits back in California. And, um, hey, there you go. So, but whether he's bored or not, I'm going to go ahead and do this blaster because I was going to do it last night but never got around to it because I got tired and my voice is all worn out. Um, I'll just do this. Maybe another value pack, seeing, depending how fast this goes. And then I promise I'll do one video at least of some of this other stuff. Uh, that Bowman's kind of calling my name. I don't know. Should we... Waste the night with two hits because we've got two autographs coming out of that. Maybe I'll wait. My wife can do that with me. We've got some time. All right, there's your blaster. Just want to see what, what we get out of state, you know. Here in New Mexico instead of California. Um, 
Got a ton of stuff waiting for me, so we're going to be doing eBay reveals forever when we get back. Um, but, hey, I got this stuff. I got to open it. I could either open it with you guys or on my own. And, well, that's what my videos are here for. And I know some of them, well, most of them, they go on and on, and even I get bored and kind of skip through stuff. So, 2023, we're mostly going to zip through a little bit just because... We've already seen this stuff, so. Just looking for short prints, 101s, and one other stuff. You already know what we're looking for, folks. Grosham's Rookie. Try to keep these in frame, Kurt. So, very similar. Uh, I don't know if the stamps are going to be on the front this, this, uh, this year because I haven't seen a full size glossy yet. Guess I could pull one up on eBay and see where the 101 stamped on them. Because on the mini stamps like right in here. And then the talented card. Oh, the red tailed Andre Dawson Hawk card. Is he coming in there for my Ronald Acuna card? Is he going to swoop down there to try to take that one? What's that hawk up to? Shh. Oh, no, he skipped right by and he's trying to make out with Cook. Oh. All right, there's my goofiness for the time being. I mean, I don't have to act too goofy when Yoda shows up, do I? But love the talented cards, beautiful cards. Got a ton of these red tail hawks, so... Um, it's not my nemesis yet because like the hawk, Andre Dawson, the hawk. All right, let's put my cook card to the back. So maybe she and Scriver can uh, hang out together in that Maria Sharapova card that we pulled. All right, who do we got here? Not Shohei Otani, but Wang. I believe that. So he was he. Maybe from Taiwan. I think Wang, that's uh, Chinese. I don't know. I People at my work, they're named Wang. So that is 303. So it is short print. Or from like Taiwan. So, um, or China. So that's cool. All right, set that here. It's 2023. I'm not... I remember seeing a lot of this card. So that might be one of those short prints that we hadn't come across yet, even with all the stuff that we've opened for Allen and Ginter. All right, we've got a good mess going here, people. Don't have my tissue box to throw away my empty um, wrappers. A-Rod, Rangers A-Rod. Cedric Mullins. looking for one one stamps people so that's why I'm uh, not stopping too long Benson rookie off center Will Benson Mr. Byron Buxton alright and a Jimmy Rollins spotless band no one ones on those spotless bands that is hey we got an only in card so we got another short print so we'll be one for two on these short prints only in dc so i i need this one i haven't gotten that yet so that's the racing presidents of all people i haven't got to teddy roosevelt lincoln or washington yet they haven't come around uh, but i know baseball was around uh, there's some evidence that baseball was already around um, the late 1700s. So you, a lot of people thought it was the early 1800s, but there is some newspapers that talk about baseball, rounders, and cricket. And uh, that was like the late 1700s. So old George Washington may have known about baseball. Who knows? Maybe it was before he was even born. All right, so that's nice. Got a short print. All right, folks, give me just a second here. Um, why? 
re-energize like Popeye with some some adult not beverage but adult spinach all right well I was just showing you that card there and for no particular reason other than to see if the focus was still focused in all right so We are one, we're at 50% on these uh, short prints for now. That's good looking. Looks like this uh, one got some good ink on there. So some fresh ink in the printing machine. Because it's not a one-on-one, so unfortunate. It's a nice looking card, a Wazinski. I believe he's the one I pulled out of Clearly Authentic. Autograph of him. That Altuve over there, that Altuve and them, you know, um, loaded the scale in favor of the Astros to to get over the hump finally, to get over that hump and get that World Series. They may they, they may have put their finger on the old scale to lean it over to Astros' way, allegedly. That guy. The Allen. I've gone. I got his uh, autograph, and I believe his relic, and his own by any other name. So he is part of that um, short short print mini insert set. Other things named Allen, like Allen and Ginter. So hoodie Allen. Music to your ears. The temple blocks. And that's that. This is probably one of my three um, cards that are um, I've gotten a ton of them so I'm tired of seeing it the temple blocks and a couple of those fun in the suns are, are my nemesis is this is all right another uh, short print so that's cool Yoshida Masataka Yoshida for the uh, Boston Red Sox so he's somebody's cousin in Boston a brighter Boston with old Mashataka Yoshida in Boston. So another short print. So now we're two for three. That's a nice retail exclusive. 2006 design. Rookie design variant. And of course, we know that's all based on the 1887. All right. Pop my mini out. All right, the meekest mill again. Meek mill. Nico Horner, not his rookie card. Got a couple of those recently in those 2020s. Solid player. Mr. Kirby. Uh, you say you got a Kirby pocket card? No, we got Kirby. Oh, and I did notice on that Web and Yama, um, which I'll show here in a second. Pulled that out of one of those blasters. Raphael Devers, I'm getting a lot of him, so he might be my player nemesis. And uh, George Springer, oh boy. All right, so really quick out of these... Um, Couple Web and Yama cards that we picked up. Now remember, I did the whole little thing on the um, Nino O'Brien card, how her AMG back was a different color in the background than her base card. Well, we got the same thing going on here on this Web and Yama. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have to check the non-baseball players to see if the minis are different than the full size. Maybe that's the key. I still haven't figured that out. But this is only the second one that I've noticed. So, I mean, the filigree is different, obviously, but it's still just the base card with the filigree on it. But the mini, different color, orange versus that green. So, there's another Easter egg that we trying to figure out one of these little 
different things that they do in Allen and Ginter that hasn't been explained yet. Oh my God, people. Holy shizzle sh 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 sticks. Um, I'm going to go off on a slight tangent here, folks. Um, earlier this year, um, I talked about ordering all these Andre Dawson cards and G-backs, Black Borders, and all that stuff. Um, because I'd never pulled my own short print Allen and, uh, Allen and Ginter Andre Dawson mini card. So I never got an a and back. I mean, not counting like a high number card. So, but I mean, anything from a and no number, Brooklyn back, any of the red back ones, um, anything like the red borders, gold border, black border, um, regular Allen and Ginter is what we're talking about here. We're not talking about Chrome, which is a whole different um, animal. Never pulled any short print in 10 years of buying Allen and Ginter that Andre Dawson's been in the set. His first set that he was in is 2013. Never pulled a short print Andre Dawson. Then I finally pulled an a and back this year. And, um, that was the first time. So that just goes to prove to you how hard it is, even though you'll see I've got like 10 of his cards from this year. And I probably pulled like five of them. Let's just say. Um, and let's say we end up with 10 every, you know, if I buy this much stuff and I get 10 in a year. And um, in 10 years, let's say so. 10 times 10, that's 100 Andre Dawson cards. Let's, I, know, I know I didn't pull that many, but in theory, if I pulled 100 Andre Dawson cards in 10 years and never received a short print, and this being the first year that I finally pulled my own, that's how hard it is to pull some of these short prints. It's not hard to get a short print, Angie back, Black Border and all that. You're guaranteed to get those every so many packs, like these Black Borders every 10. But to get any particular player in the set is hard. You may end up with the same guy three times, A and G back. For the black border of Willie Mays. It's just how it goes. But it took 10 years of um, buying, hit, buying, you know, I've been doing it since 2006 with Ginter, but he's only been in the last 10 years. Finally pulled my first short print of him. And ba-boom, there's my second. I pulled, that's the second short print, Andre Dawson, my PC guy. And this is different than the first short print that I pulled. So now I finally got my second short print, Andre, from the base Allen & Ginter, which is a large set with a large production run. So that's how hard it is to get any particular one person. So I just bought them on, bought them on eBay. So, boom, there you go. Andre Dawson. He's going to deserve a little extra attention here. So, sorry, I know that through the video a little, made it a little longer, but look how beautiful those cards are. 2023, once again, just epic. And there it is. That is a personal hit for me. All right, so I'm going to set him over here with the other short prints. As a matter of fact, this card means so much to me, folks, as being my second. I'm fairly sure the other one was the Ginter back. It's, it's in one of my videos, but if it's a black border, then that's even harder. And this could just be the year that, well, where I said you get four Willie Mays, well, maybe I'll get four Andre Dawson's. Um... Just every dog has his day, and I'm the dog who picked up the hawk, who may or may not be related to that red-tailed hawk that made off with that cook card. So there you go, boom. Place of honor for my boy Andre. If I had a stage set up here, people, that would go on there. That's a hit for me. Now is it a technical hit? No. 
It's a short print. Most of you people would be like, ah, big deal. But for me, that's my PC guy, my favorite player. And that's a that's a personal hit for me. All right, Zach Grinky. So we're gonna have to do something really good to top that in my book. You know, another round of the Cunha Jr. Autograph this time, a relic. How about David Ortiz autograph? 101 or a medal or something like that would uh, do it, but no other short print, filigree or anything like that's going to top that for me today. You know, they can top it by giving me a Shohei or a Webinyama autograph or something. Tim Hudson. Of course, Fun in the Sun. That's not the Nemesis one, but okay. All right, we got another short print, folks. And it's a rookie, so that's good. Zach Nito. So, Zach Nito, rookie card. Alan Ginter back. It's numbered, so it's not a known number. So it's not in the competition for knocking old Andre out. But we're doing good on these short prints. We've got another epic... To me, it's already up it because I pulled Dawson short print. But as far as compared, just the based on the minis on my little thing, it's it, it's pushing epic because we are technically one, two, three, four for five on these minis with short prints. So it's a good box by by all means. Just based on that, if you weren't collecting. Your PC guy. So it's already a winner. This blaster is already a winner. There we go. We got another Yoshida rookie card. But this isn't the rookie design variant. That's his base. Gosling, Goslin, sorry. I'm looking at the screen, folks. Sorry, it's hard to. I'm trying to make sure I keep these in uh, as best I can in frame. Just got my phone up on a coffee cup here. Pichardo, I seen her autograph going for like 200 bucks on eBay today. Her mini framed, or maybe it was a. I don't know. Wander Franco, well, I'm still waiting to hear what's going on with him, whether his cards are garbage or going to be good again. And hey, we got a showtime, so that's good. That's going to put us up to like 12, 11, just based on not counting Andre as anything more special than just a regular black border. So we are definitely on the border of epic just based on short prints versus non-short prints and good cards versus not so and another short print. So there's your gold border. So the gypsy queen looking gold border and it's a rookie card, so that gets like an extra point. Because it has a rookie card, Matthew Libertor. Since it's here, right in front of me, 2020 gold border versus 2023 gold border. I mean, they're cool cards. They're just a little gypsy queenish to me, but yeah, it's cool. So, boom, people. We are five for six short prints. Let's do the last pack and then the old good pack last. So the next to last pack used to be where the hits used to live in a lot of those blasters. So we're going to save that one for last just to see if that it hasn't held up this year by any means. Chirata. Good one. There we go. Christopher Morale. That's a solid rookie card right there. And it looks to be in pretty good shape and centering. So Christopher Morale rookie card. That's good. 
And then former MVP, Freddie Freeman. So that's pretty good. We're seeing him in Dodgers uniform, though. To me, another um, maybe Hall of Famer to be Fred Lynn. Short print to boot. So, yeah, we've definitely reached epic. And when I say epic, I'm not saying like, oh, wow, it's the best thing ever. Um, no, it's just... If you pull a blaster like this and you're a kid and you're a collector and you're like, oh, I want to get some decent stuff for Alan and Ginters, this is a pretty good box. Like, past normal, pretty good. I mean, there you go, another a Derek Jeter. So, if you're a kid, you would be like, yeah, that was a good box. Even if he just got all these regular cards and nothing special. And then, once again, we got another short print, World of Wonder. The... Um, Code Havana and its fortification system. So that's a new one for me, even. So that's good for me. That's another one that I needed. So that even adds like a bonus point for me. It's like extra credit because it's one that I need. So I don't know if you guys could read that. Camera's not too clear to me. All right, and here's our winner pack. So right now we are six for seven on the short prints. We usually, the best we normally do is six for eight. So I'd say that this has reached that, what I call epic for a blaster of base kind of stuff. You know, this isn't like Chrome or something where you're gonna expect to get autographs every now and then. It's Alan and Ginter, so you're in for the ride. You know, cruise, that's cool. I saw we got a talented card coming up here, so that's even another bonus point in my book because those are super cool and funny, goofy, and serious all at the same time. Henderson, so not bad. Scoot. <laughs> of course. Raphael Devers. 76. <laughs> All right, we got the Merlin. The Merlin's coming in. He's trying to steal that Scriver card. He's cruising along. Looks like he's just floating along. But then the hawk comes in, and this bird's like, see you later. Cool cards. The Merlin. Pretty bird, pretty bird. All right. And the last mini is Gene Carlos Staten, so superstar player. Not a short print, so stands true. Six for eight. So we got six uh, short prints. Six short prints, two base. Um, Wang, I'm not too familiar with, but he's a Yankee, so that's a bonus. No, he is a short print. Well, I'll be darned. Look at that. Well, shut your mouth and slap your grandma. Put this here on. Yeah, 303. I'm wrong. So we did seven for eight on short prints. Holy smoke. Now, the high numbers are the shortest of the short prints that you can get, then the ANG back. But but we also got a Yankee, so the base mini that we got was just the Yankee, but it's a superstar Gene Carlos Staten. Then we, the next lowest short print, we got Wang, who's a um, high number, 303. And these will be no particular order. Lieberthal will be the retail exclusive. Gold, rookie card. Then the Yoshida, rookie design variant. Retail exclusive short print. All right, so Gene, you're gonna go up here on your own. 
then we got the A and G back. Zach Nito, and that's another rookie. So two of those short prints are rookies. Then we got the only in Washington, D.C., the Nationals Park short print card. Then the old Havana Fortress system short print card. And the big one of the day for me, the Andre Dawson, my second short print base Allen and Ginter set. Andre Dawson ever. So I believe before I pulled the ANG back a couple weeks ago. Now I got a black border and it's a really nice looking one. It's really well centered. So after 10 years, only my second Dawson short print from regular Allen and Ginter. I did pull a green mini from Chrome last year, but Chrome you're more than likely to get short prints and numbered cards because it's just a small print run and they have a lot of a lot of short prints and color variations in that set so that's that's not as hard to do it's just harder to find all right so there you go folks uh we got some good full-size short print cards it's talented so you know no major hit just a personal major hit for me all right, so uh, 30 through 31 minutes, so um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off there. We'll not do a retail pack. We won't do another value pack since we pulled the Acuna. Um, don't want to spoil that. And um, All right, next will be one of the non-Allen Ginter things. All right, Rob from Old Style Classics Baseball wonderful cards out.